Hello, second graders. We are on lesson number seven and our topic, topic 13. And today's lesson, equal shares with different shapes. So let's start. If you remember, in the previous lesson, we learned about how to divide the shape like a circle to two equal shares. And we learn also that these shapes will be halves. We learn also that rectangular I can split or divide to three equal shares, and we call these our thirds, and then they have to be equals. We also learn about the fourth was when you split or you divide a shape to four equal parts. Let's see what we have today in your book, page 585. Divide this pizza into four equal shares. Compare your answer with a partner. Did you both make four equal shares? Do your shares look the same? All right, let's see. Um, we use a blue. So I can, remember, split them or divide them to two halves, then four equal shares. So that's one, that's two, that's three, and that's four. And as you see, they are four equal shares. I can also divide them or split them to four equal shares but using a different way, I can go one, two, three, and four. So that's one, that's two, that's three, and that's four. All right, let's go for our video. How can this square be divided into three equal shares? You can use smaller squares to help. You can draw lines to make three columns or three rows. These show equal shares that are all the same shape. How are these two blue squares alike? I can see that the two blue squares are alike because these, bo both of them have three equal shares. They are identical in size. Each blue square is divided into three equal shares that are all the same shape. Each share is made up of three small squares. How are the blue squares different? One blue square is divided into columns and the other blue square is divided into rows. Here, each share is three squares. The shares are equal. Is each share the same shape? Select your answer. All right. Are they all the same? Nope. These show equal shares that are not all the same shape. Each way shows three equal shares. Equal shares can be different shapes. Are there other ways to make three equal shares with this blue square? All right, let's see first what we have. As we see, three blue squares split or divided to three equal shares. But as we see, the three equal shares are different shapes. So over here, we have three columns. Over here, we have three rows. And over here, you have 
two different shapes and a third one. The three are different, but the number of square are the same. And that's how I know that they are equal in size or equal share. I can see there are three, three equal square here, three equal square here, and three equal square here. But they are not the same shape. Yes. One other way is to divide the square into one row of three small squares on the top and two L shapes of three small squares on the bottom. Now you know how you can make equal shares that do not have the same shape. So for this activity, again, we need the small square that we used a couple of lessons ago when you trace it. And if you run out of it or you don't have them anymore, it's okay. Try to trace what we have in your book and use them to be able to have fun and answer um, this question. So let's go to our guided practice. Page 586. And let's see. Draw lines, draw lines to show two equal shares. Each way should be different. So we're looking for two different uh, way to um, show over here. So number one, we have the square, so we don't need, but I can do different way. I can show two equals, so I can trace this line, and now I have two halves. Or let me take a different color. And I can split this way. Okay, wasn't clear enough. So they are equal because look at the first one, I have one, two, three squares, and the second half, I have also three squares. So that means two equal share, all right? Let's answer the question. Number two, how many squares are in each equal share of the rectangles? We just answered three, so let's put three. Of course, this is an example. You can do different way. All right. Number three, describe the equal shares and the whole. So we can see that each share is a half of a whole. So we can see this is one half. This is one half and this is another half. So each share is a half of a whole. Same thing here. Also, each hole is in two halves, so I split them in two halves. This is one half, and this is the other half. This is one half, and this is the other half. All right. So that's pretty much what we're going to have for today. And then you have your activity on page 587. They um, have the um, share for you, the shape, and the shape have square, and that will help you to um, answer the question if you have to um, divide them in equal uh, shares or uh, not, or, or a different way to make equal shapes. Because in a way to or, uh, split them or divide them in equal shapes, you need to add the squares or see how many squares in each shape, and that's how you you know that your answer is right because they are equal and the number of the squares and both shapes or both sides or both halves or four, if, it, if you ask you to divide them in four shapes are equal. All right, so have fun with the rest of the activity on your book, page 587 and 588. That's it for today, second graders. Thank you. Hello, second graders. Welcome to the last lesson for this topic, topic 13. It's a fun topic. Learn a lot about shapes. So let's see what we have. Please open your book, page 589. Design two different flags. Draw 15 equal size squares in each flag. Use rows and columns. 
make three equal shares of different colors in each flag. Then write an equation for each flag to show the total number of squares. All right. You remember the squares that we traced them from the previous lesson? We can use them again today. So you're going to have a bunch of them and put them nicely, not overlapping, not leaving a gap, and put them and try, as I told you, to have fun and have them in colors and try to fill the two shapes that you have and see how many square do you have. And again, remember, you can add them by how many square in each column or row, the same for both shapes. And then you do your equation, like how many uh, squares. So if you have five squares and you put three rows, so five plus five plus five plus five, and that's five times. And then you have three rows, that's mean five plus five plus five for the three rows. Or if you used um, over here by rows, this is if you do by rows here, if we use by columns, so how many squares and how many columns and you can add them the same. So remember, your answer should be the same in both shapes. All right. Let's go for our video. Sam is designing a square quilt. The quilt must have four colors with an equal share for each color. Help Sam make two designs. How can you look for things that repeat in the problem? You can count the small squares in each share in the first design. That will help you draw the shares in your second design. Here, the same shape is used for each share. Each share is four small squares. How can you tell that the four shares are all equal? Look at each share. Each share got four equal squares, four equal small squares. So that's why they're four of them are the same size. The four shares are all equal because each share is made of four equal size squares. Are all of the shares the same shape? Yes, all of the shares are the same shape. Do they all have to be the same shape? No, but the shares all must be the same size because they are equal shares. Okay, so now I know that the four shares are equal size because each share has four small squares. So that's mean each color have the same number of small squares. And it just happened that they are the same shape as well. But it doesn't have to be always like that, but they are the same size. Let's see another example. Here, I use different shapes for the shares. In both designs, each colored share is one fourth of the whole. How can you tell that the shares are all equal in design two? All right. Remember, we agreed that all the shapes have the same number of small squares, and that's why they are in the same size, but they don't have to be all with the same shape. So look here, the yellow have, let's say for the color, the yellow color, over here I have it a square with four small squares. Over here, one, two, three, four, have the same number of squares. Let's see for the green color. Let's count how many small squares in our green color. So in design two, I have one, two, three, four squares. And for the first design, I still have the same number. And so on for the blue and for the peach. 
You can count the small equal size squares. There are four small equal size squares in each share. Now you know how you can use repeated reasoning to create designs with equal shares. All right, let's see our guided practice. Page 590. Okay, let's have fun and do them. Hamel is plan painting a design. The design must have three colors with an equal share for each color. Create two possible designs for Hamel. So what we do, we're gonna have two design. We're using three different colors. Doesn't matter what shape, but the most important and this should be equal. So we can have any design, putting in mind that the number of the square for each color should be re repeated or should be the same for this other design. So let's see. If I use red and I'm gonna color, the first four, one, two, three, four, square and red. And then I'm gonna color the second column. Again, four square in green. I know you're gonna have fun and do way better work than mine. And then the third, I'm gonna color in yellow. I'm trying to leave some space so you can see that each column or each part has four equal squares. So now I need to divide the second shape to three equal shapes, but the design could be different. I'm using the same colors again. Put in mind that I used four squares. So I filled four squares in red, four in green, and four in yellow. I need to do the same here. So let's see, for red, I'm gonna make a different shape. This is one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna color this part, four small squares in red. Try to leave a part so we can make sure that we count it right. Again, I'm gonna use the green and I could do the second half green or this part green. Again, I'm coloring same number of small squares that I did in the first design. So this is my four, I counted. These are my four square. Then leave me with the yellow. Again, as I see, one, two, three, four yellow square, the same number of small squares I color in yellow in the first design. So I'm gonna use the yellow. And as you see, in design one and design two, they are different design, but I use the three colors that they asked me and I use different shapes and each shape have the same number of the equal squares that we use. So the first design, I have four small squares in red, four small in green and four small squares in yellow. And for the second design, I have the same numbers of red. As you see, four small squares of red, four small squares in yellow and four small squares in green. So I answer my question. I had fun. All right, second graders, that was the last lesson for this topic, talking and learning about shapes. We learn a lot about in this, um, in this topic. We learn about equal shapes. We learn about uh, solid figures. We learn about dimen the dimensional shapes. We learn about squares, cubes, circles, and polygon. All right, I leave you with the, with the rest of the activity to have fun and finish your exercise. Page 591 and 592. That's it for today's lesson. Thank you.